Hey guys, Peter here from Evo Gimbals, and today I'm going to show you the new Evo SS 3-axis wearable gimbal for your action camera. This is a great compact stabilizer that will significantly improve the quality of your video footage. Uh, it's probably our most versatile gimbal that we offer. Uh, you can use it handheld, you can mount it to the handlebars of your bike, to your motorcycle, and it's also fully compatible with the GoPro mounting ecosystem. So that means that this actually comes with an adapter that screws onto the bottom of the gimbal, allowing you to mount it to any of your GoPro mounting accessories. Uh, so another cool thing about this gimbal is that it has a Bluetooth radio built in. So we can actually wirelessly control this gimbal using our new smartphone app. And we also now have a wireless remote that's available on our website. I'll show you that a little bit later. Out of the box, the gimbal's compatible with the popular Hero 3, Hero 4 cameras from GoPro, as well as the Yi 4K or SJ Cam cameras, which are popular on Amazon. Uh, we have two separate mounts that are available on our website. Uh, one is for the Hero Session and the Hero 5 Session cameras. These are becoming really popular. And then for everybody that has bought one of the new Hero 5 Blacks, uh, these cameras are a little bit taller than the original Hero 3, Hero 4 cameras, so we have a separate Hero 5 mount that is also compatible with the new Garmin Verb Ultra 30. Let's go ahead and get this opened up out of the box. You're going to notice right away that there is a nice color user manual printed with a bunch of pictures front and back. This has everything you need to know about how this gimbal works, so make sure you don't lose it. Second, you'll notice that there's a warranty card. Uh, make sure you go onto our website and register your warranty. This comes with a one year US parts and labor warranty from us. So be sure to register your warranty on our website. Right out of the box, this has the Hero 3, Hero 4 mount on it. In the package, you're gonna get a uh, charger for your batteries. You're gonna get two sets of batteries. Uh, the battery life on this gimbal is about four and a half to five hours total. So each set of batteries, you're going to get about two to two and a half hours of runtime. There's two charging cables that come with your gimbal. Uh, one is a four wire cable, which is used to activate the AV output port on the bottom of the gimbal. And then there's a three wire charging cable, which is just for charging. So if you're using your Hero 4 Silver with the built-in LCD screen, be sure just to use the three wire cable. Here's the shoe adapter that I was talking about for your GoPro mounting accessories. Uh, this just screws right onto the bottom of the gimbal here and you can use this swivel mount to mount to any of your GoPro accessories. Uh, next, uh, USB cable here. This USB cable is used to charge your batteries and update your gimbal's firmware. So to charge your batteries, you're going to want to plug in the USB cable right into the side of the charger here. I recommend a one amp a uh, wall charger for these batteries. It'll charge it up a little bit quicker. We got this nice telescoping handle uh, so you can run your gimbal handheld if you want. This actually extends out to 30 inches so you can twist to unlock to the left counterclockwise, pull it out. This goes out 30 inches. You can screw it right to the bottom of your gimbal and this is super useful for getting you know shots above a crowd or down low. Uh, Folds up really nice and compact so you can pop this into your backpack really easily. Your gimbal comes with the two 18350 batteries. You're going to want to make sure you charge these up first before you get going. First thing you're going to want to do, so you want to loosen up these screws on the U bracket here. We'll go ahead and slide our camera in. I want to tighten this up. To install your batteries, there's a little thumb screw on the back of the gimbal here. You want to loosen that up and then just slide the back cover plate straight off. You want to make sure the flat side of the battery is up against the, the ground spring on the inside here. So button side towards the flat side, just like this. Go ahead and put the cover plate back on. Just push it down, slide it to the left, and then you can snug it up by tightening that thumb screw. On the gimbal here on the bottom of the base, there's two different buttons. There's a power button right down here on the left side of the gimbal, and then there's a mode button right here along the right side of the base of the gimbal. So it doesn't have to be perfectly flat, doesn't matter what position the camera is in, it just matters that the surface is stationary and not moving. So go ahead and power that on, and you'll notice that the calibration lights light up. Right now you can see that the light is blinking twice, which means I have 50% battery left. So 
that blue indicator light will constantly flash letting you know how much battery life is left. If you had a full charge it would blink four consecutive times. 75% left in batteries is three times, two times is 50%, and then once it goes to one flash that's about 25%. That's when you're going to want to charge your batteries. So the gimbal is ready to go. It's in standby mode right now so to fire it up you simply hold down the mode button on the right side of the gimbal here until the motors power on and now you can see it starts off in heading follow mode. If you want to lock your heading position in, say that you wanted to get a shot going straight ahead and you didn't want the camera to move left and right at all, you can go into what's called lock mode and click this button one time. You can see as I rotate the base left and right, the camera is locked onto that heading angle. If I want to go back out into the original mode, just simply click the button once more and now we're back into the pan follow mode. Now say you, uh, you have this mounted onto your chest or you have it mounted onto your helmet and you want to quickly adjust the tilt angles of your camera, take the camera lightly with your hand and hold it there for a couple seconds and you'll see that the gimbal actually, actually will hold that camera position right away. So this is super useful if you want to fine tune your camera angle while it's mounted to your handlebars or to your helmet or to your chest, whatever it is. There's actually two more modes on this gimbal I wanna show you. So if you click the mode button twice, like this, that's gonna activate the heading and tilt follow mode. So now, as I move left and right, the camera smoothly pans out left and right, and then as I tilt the gimbal up and down, you can see that the tilt of the camera also feathers out that move. So this is super useful for doing those higher crane shots, uh, going upstairs. Uh, you can really get some neat dynamic shots with this mode. If you want to exit back out of this mode to the original pan heading follow mode, just simply click the button once and that'll exit it back out. Okay, so there's one more mode that I want to show you that I think you'll really like. This is called the turn back mode. What you do is you just click the mode button three quick clicks, so one, two, three, and you'll see that the gimbal flips around 180 degrees. So this is, this is a super cool feature. If you want to exit back out of this mode, you simply click it three quick clicks again. And you can see it flips right back around. One last thing I want to show you guys is our Evo Bluetooth remote. This is an accessory that is sold separate on our website. Uh, you can use this to also wirelessly control your gimbal. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or visit us on the web at www.evogimbals.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.